In our health alert tonight, summer is fast approaching and many people are hitting the gym. Yeah, but that soreness the next day could be a sign of a bigger problem. It was super duper sore. Everything hurt. It hurt to the touch. It was swollen the farthest I could move to here and that I was like, this is not right. 17 year old Jared Schamberger just got a new gym membership with his family, but after an intense arm workout last week, he says the soreness and swelling were not going away. So Jared's mom, Judy, searched the symptoms online and it paid off. Then the mama bear and me kind of took over and I called the pediatrician and said, I really think my son has rhabdo. It's a condition that causes a breakdown of muscle tissue, releasing a damaging protein into the blood, possibly damaging the kidneys. So how does it happen and why can it be fatal? Our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, joins us now with more on this scary diagnosis. And Doc, I've always thought of it as the good sore. That's what you hear people say, and that's yeah, not the know, case. To, to an extent, but uh, Glenn and Dave, let me start by saying that Jared is, is expected to make a full recovery, but let's start with the basics to understand what happened to him. When you lift weights, right, you cause tiny tears in the muscle fiber, so your body will actually send protein to sort of pave over the damage, and this is how you end up with bigger muscles. Now, rhabdomyolysis, which is a long name for rhabdo, can happen when you have extreme muscle strain. The injured muscles can break down and release a protein called myoglobin into the bloodstream, and that protein can damage the kidneys, making it harder for them to remove the waste and concentrated urine, and this can lead to kidney failure. In some cases, rhabdomyolysis can even cause death. So how do we know, Doc, if we're overdoing it and when to quit? So Dave, I recommend that you stick to moderate intensity levels and avoid overdoing it by listening to your body. It always gives you signs. That means not going beyond what feels comfortable or natural. Also, I want you to make sure you drink enough water. Really important there, drink enough water. Now, rhabdomyolysis is extremely rare, but it's still important to know that if the signs are there, you're really pushing your boundaries of your workout regime. It, just like in Jared's case, you can experience sore muscles, weakness, and trouble moving, but also watch for dark colored urine or infrequent urination. If you experience these symptoms, it's important, it's critical to get medical attention right away. If you're diagnosed and treated early enough, you can expect a full recovery. Now, I don't want people to th get afraid of rhabdomyolysis and, and stop exercising. It's good to push yourself, like Glenda says, so that you build up endurance and strength. Just don't go to extremes, and that's the key. And if, this is not the first case of rhabdo I've seen with CrossFit, so you've got to talk to your doctor and see what's right for you to not push yourself to extremes. And jump in too fast and do too much. Yeah. Exactly. It could kill you. And in this case, this young man's mom, uh, boy, she got right after it and probably uh, saved his life. That's, Absolutely. That's for sure. Thank you so much, Dr. Nandy. If you have a question or health concern for the good doctor, you can email him at drnandy at wxyz.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter, and we'll get it right to him.